This is Pastor Joseph with Life Family, and I want to give you a little extra. You see, an encounter with Jesus changes everything. When we have a genuine encounter with Jesus, it gives us a story to tell. In Mark chapter 5, we find a man that had legions of devils, the Bible says. And Jesus went to the other side of the shore, to the land of the Gadarenes. And there wasn't a lot of fanfare. There wasn't multitudes waiting for Jesus. This was the people on the other side. These were Greeks. They were Gentiles. They weren't Jews. And so when Jesus arrived there, there was only one man that came to greet him. And this man had thousands of devils inside of him. And so the Bible says that when he saw Jesus afar off, he came and he bowed down to worship him. You see, what that tells his friends that there's no devil big enough and strong enough to stop you from praising our God. If you have the will, if you have the desire, nothing can stop you from lifting up the name of Jesus. You see, this man was oppressed, he was isolated, and he was full of self-condemnation. Before Jesus arrived on that shore, he was dwelling in caves. And in the Bible times, caves were a place where they buried their dead. So he was living among dead things. He was isolated by himself. They tried to chain him, but he would just rip those chains off and he would cut himself with those chains or cut himself in the cave. You may not have legions of devils fighting against you, but just like this man, you might be feeling oppressed, isolated, and self-condemned. You might be all alone and having actions on your life that's causing havoc. You have self-inflicted wounds, just like this man, where your actions are hurting you instead of helping you. But I'm here to tell you, just like that man that day, when we have a genuine encounter with Jesus, everything changes because he's the I am that I am. Whatever you and I need Jesus to be, if we'll have faith in him, he's a deliverer, he's a way maker, he's a healer, he's a sustainer. Whatever our needs are, we can find the answer in Jesus Christ. This man, the Bible says, went back into the town. He was sitting and clothed in his right mind. Can you imagine this man's story? This man that the whole town knew was oppressed, afflicted, full of demons, but he was clothed and in his right mind telling about what Jesus Christ has done for him. This man was so moved with the power of God that was in Christ that he wanted to follow Jesus, but Jesus said, no, I want you to stay where you are. And I want you to tell everyone what I've done for you. So that man shares his story. He begins to tell his Jesus story. His Jesus story was all about celebrating what God has done for his life. You see, friends, sometimes we have a Jesus story, but we're not telling that Jesus story. You were telling our old story. So let me ask you a question this week. Were you telling about the goodness of Jesus, or were you too busy complaining? Were you busy telling what the world did to you, or were you telling the world what Christ has done for you? We can either be a complainer, or we can be a celebrator of God's goodness, but we can't do both at the same time. So I want to tell you, number one, an encounter with Jesus changes everything. No matter how bound you are, no matter how isolated, no matter how condemned you are, Jesus Christ can give us a freedom story. So share your story. You see, this man still had issues. He had wounds that needed to be healed. He had relationships that needed to be restored. He, I'm sure he burned plenty of bridges when he was full of devils. At least he had a Jesus encounter that changed his life. And now he can go forward and begin the healing process for his life. You don't have to claim that you are the perfect Christian to tell your Jesus story. Because you can tell them without a shadow of a doubt that I am free indeed. I'm not perfect, I'm just forgiven. That's the greatest miracle that we can ever receive, the forgiveness of our Lord Jesus. Because number two, you know what happens? That our Jesus story paves the way for other people to know Christ. You see, after Jesus healed this man, you know what he did? He went to the other side of the sea. He went back to the, the people of the Jews. When the last time he showed up, only one man that was full of, the, of demons greeted him. But the next time he went to the sea of the, of the people of the Gadarenes on the other side of the sea, 
there were multitudes ready to greet Jesus Christ because of one man told his Jesus story. You see, when you and I tell our Jesus story, it opens up the other side for Jesus to do a saving work. You see, this man could have been a follower with Jesus. He could have been a disciple. But Jesus said, I want you to tell your story to your world. I want you to be the pathway where I get to the people that are in your society. You see, there are people that you work with, people that you do life with, family members, co-workers, neighbors. They need to hear your Jesus story. It's your Jesus story that unlocks the key to their heart's salvation. You might be asking yourself, how do I share my Jesus story? Well, don't try to do it speaking in the King James. Don't try to use the words of the letters to the churches. Tell it how Jesus saved you with no gloss, no, no polish, just you and another person, heart to heart, telling them what Jesus Christ has done for you. And let's just give them our simple message of our forgiveness and redemption that we received by Jesus Christ. Use this opportunity in the season of Easter to witness, to share your Jesus story. It could be the key that unlocks their heart to their salvation experience in Christ. Use the tools that Life Family or your church gives you to bring people to the feet of Jesus. We can't save them. We can't change them. But sharing your story of how the Christ, the Savior, changed you could do a great resurrecting work in their life. Let's all tell someone our Jesus story and let's bring one person to the feet of Jesus. Hey, listen, I hope you enjoyed today's little extra. If you want to hear the full message, go to lifefamilychurch.org. Check us out on our podcast at Life Family Cypress, Texas. Share the gospel message about how an encounter with Jesus gives us a redemption story that we need to tell. The Bible tells us that we overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. I love you. I love our church. God bless you.